I think OTs have the biggest opportunities to change somebody's life. I think it's not just these kind of old terms of not working within a medical model. I think it's about actually being there and saying, what's important to you is important to me and I'm gonna work with you to get there. But let's be realistic, let's see what you need to overcome, but I'm gonna help you every step of the way. And the moment you're not doing that, I don't think you can be an OT. I just find that OT was more thinking outside the box, problem solving, being creative in the way that you look at things. Most importantly, it was really client-centered. When you do have those people that you work with and they've overcome some barriers and they've become more independent, it could be about being comfortable with their sexuality. And once they've done that and you just see how their lives have changed, I think, it's, I think it just fulfills everything you want to do, so. I really enjoy it. I really like the people I work with. I like the team I work with. I love the fact that the OT directors are really considerate to their team. They look after their team of occupational therapists. He's in the career opportunities at Cigna, um, just starting off as a, as a student and working my way up from a junior to a senior. Um, and now I'm an acting head at the moment. Lots of opportunities, lots of training, um, CPD events, um, and there's that really a strong, keen MDT focus. They put forward a lot of opportunities for training, for developing yourself as an OT. I, I just feel with Cigna, I've got a lot more opportunity to develop myself as an OT. I think what's special about OT at Signet is autonomy. You're not micromanaged, you are trusted. It is um, a very kind of OT focused organisation. So therefore, you work in this service and you're part of that MDT and anything you're suggesting truly gets actioned. Mm -hmm.